good people. We got the little camera set up, man. I'm finna uh, open up this package. So basically, the package uh, came from Amazon. It is a MA Black and Machine Oil Temperature Dipstick. Um, like I said, we've been having some concerns with the temperatures. Um, the easiest way, the easiest way I was told to, I guess, read the oil temperature. I mean, you could get the gauges from the coder, or you could buy an engine oil dipstick. So, um, this one right here, man, uh, it looks, so it says made in Japan. Uh, I got it, like I said, I did get it off of Amazon. However, like, I, I feel like, I feel like the, there was another one that was on, I think, JP Cycles. Same, they use the same exact pictures. The price was around the same thing. So, man, if JP Cycles is selling it, then maybe it's worth it then. I don't know. Uh, but I was told if I was going to get one, get the mechanical one. Don't get the digital one because the digital one, I guess, goes out or whatever. Doesn't last long. And for the price that you pay for this damn dipstick, like you want them other, you want to, you want to buy once, cry once type deal. <laughs> buy once, cry once. Uh, but it does. So let me get get it all the way out the package. And I guess give you all my first thoughts on it. So uh, it looks like it's a little bit easier to read. There is, there's like a, I don't know if you can see that. So there's a, there's a line right there. There's a line right there. And then I think it's like one more, but I gotta finish, finish pulling off this plastic there. In the meantime, while I'm trying to Peel out this plaza, y'all. Look at Shawty. Shawty Red. Uh, from what? From what they were saying. Yeah. So I'm guessing the oil needs to be between them two spots. I don't know. I don't know. But <clears throat> we gon. So this is your. The other oil dipstick tube thing, like I say, you just twist it, pull it off. Ta da! Oil. Yeah. Smells like oil. It's oil, okay? Your new one. Just put it on there like that. So from right there, I can pretty much kind of easily see the temperature. You know what I'm saying? And then I guess when I pull it out, I can see the actual, actual level, which technically you would not, I repeat, you would not check it while it's sitting, you want to check it while it's hot. Mm. But uh, yeah, that's what it is, right there, man. Boom, spin it on there, and now, now at a glance, I can look and I can see what my oil temperature is. be good to go so let's crank up the bike 
So what I'm doing, I'm just letting it idle, get up to a temperature that was more familiar. And then we're gonna keep an eye on the well. All right, so the bike is still going, warming up, whatever you want to call it. Temperature is at 293 on the engine, 309 on the head. And we're looking at right at 200 on the wheel. So uh, right, we're going to have to actually read it, or we're going to have to not read it. We're going to have to actually ride it and then look at the oil, Tim. Uh, I know it does go up higher. Uh, obviously, it's gonna be 50 more degrees. Uh, but like I said, the oil, the oil cooler is right there, so I don't believe the oil is overheating. But I mean, I guess we'll see, right? So, till the next time, man. Tune in. It's your boy. Hit that like, comment, subscribe. We're going to keep bringing this content. Gone.